Hi everyone. This is interesting. <laughs> you can't really see it, but it's this, the Paulini motor. You can see it here. You've invited me to race one. <laughs> In the world champion. <laughs> in the world championships. We've got the motor here, the Polini motor. This is the latest version, everything's latest. The power. Let's start with the power. Let's. The power? I want the real power, not the fake, the real. No, we, our declaration is 90 Newton meter, but okay. it's real. It's real. Because you imagine that my family uh, started the work in the motorbike. So the people that use our engine, usually for the motor, yeah. have a bank, so test. And if, oh. if my company don't declare exactly the power, the people ask to, ask to, but you declaration horsepower, this horsepower, and uh, we have a little bit less, it's Ooh. not a problem. Okay. It's for this that when Polini declare the Newton meter is real. Okay, so we'll just say that. We're not going to talk about other motors, but we'll just say that. Very interesting. Repairability. Oh, it's our goal. <laughs> now, basically, if you have any problems with any brand, normally you call the dealer in the period of the guarantee. But, what? but you guys have another solution. What is it? No, like in the motorbike, if you have a problem with yeah. the motor, you can open fix some part. Every we little part? We you sell everything? The, we have all the replacement. After I show you the catalog, okay. the durability of the engine continue for longer. When you sell the bicycle second hand, yeah. increase the, the price. That's because a good point. Yeah. now, if you sell the, the bicycle, the people think, ah, but it's not in the guarantee. Okay, but with Polini, it's not a problem. Because you have the spare parts. Yes, like in the mini bike. The first motor that we have in the uh, we production, we have in the stock uh, the um, all the spares. All the spares. Wow. Minimum for uh, five years when we finish to produce the engine. Oh, okay. This is really important. I think one of the most important things going forward, which I think a lot of other brands should learn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you. Thank you, you. And thank you for and, inviting uh, me. And now we're going to get on with watching the trails, the racing, and... Enjoy your time tomorrow. Yeah, testing the bike. Right, let's talk about the technical parts of this motor. It's got 90 Newton meters, 250 watts. Peaks at 600 to 700 watts, more or less. This has got, because it's a special motor that's setting, you've got the lights on mode. So you press and hold this button, and it then switches itself to unlimited unlocked mode which you can only use on race tracks that i'm using it on but that's okay this is the display this is in the race setting at the moment and if i press and hold the button lights on there you go that now means this thing is going to go 50 kilometers an hour if i want it to it's nice and big nice and clear you can get through all the different options um, you can five power modes i've got 85 percent of battery after one climb so I used 15% of battery in full power mode, maximum, and that's pretty impressive. Okay, so if I'm demo demoing the power out of the saddle, it just feels like power, pure power. I mean, I don't think there's a motor on the market that can match this with repairability as well, because at the end of the day, you can have this. Like the bike designer told me, this bike is meant for a long life and you need a long life motor. So it needs to be repairable. Not the whole motor, just the parts. Polini system and the power that's available. It's just, I don't think many of the other brands can touch it. And how does it feel? More aggressive than the Bosch, but not so, not like a particularly brutal system. The power comes in pretty smoothly actually. It doesn't come in a big lump. It feels like you can maintain the traction all the time. I don't want to be losing traction. And I'm really not stressing myself at all. Usable power, not just power for the sake of power and a number for the sake of marketing. Comparing motors, going on pure numbers. It feels like we're stepping back into the early 2000s with the war of the megapixel and the digital camera. I'm going to put a little bit of a video on the descent now. Tomorrow I'm going to be filming the whole race. 
So I'm going to tell you how the racing goes because I'm in the category unlocked. Okay, everyone, so here we go. First jump. This bike is fast. Wow, what a grip. Okay, so I'm now gonna climb again behind my rider in front. He's gonna go as fast as he can. He's on a Shimano EP801. He weighs 30 kilos less, and I've got this thing with the Polini motor. Let's go! Yeah, just go as fast as you can. Like, he's struggling. Thing. Catch up! I'm not. He's dying. I'm good. I'm actually resting behind him. <laughs> wow! It's a heavier bike. Right. Okay, so let's talk about power. 90 Newton meters, but this 90 Newton meters? which Polini say is real 90 Newton meters, is almost unmanageable. And I think it makes more sense on big, aggressive bikes like this. I don't think it makes sense on lightweight little bikes, but this is definitely the kind of thing that already exists. It's a DJI killer, it's a ZF killer, but it already exists. And I think we really should stay on the fact that this is real, it's not marketing, it works well, but this is the kind of bike where you should find this kind of power on. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Remember, power is nothing without control. We're at 2,700 meters. Holy moly. <laughs> Steep, eh? You see how quickly the cloud comes in? In literally seconds, the cloud is here. So mountain safety. Go right. Yeah. <laughs>